I was the one that you guys tabled because I was on the wrong question. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I well, moved we the didn't table it. We just moved over. I moved two million nine hundred seventy five thousand seven hundred and ninety five dollars. It's already been moved. We already seconded. We just suspended okay. it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I will um, answer, address the questions that were ad asked of me in this section. Uh, it says, are, are all the stipulated percentages for Social Security, Medicare, and New Hampshire retirement group one and two fixed, or are they estimates and they're fixed? Um, they're based on the wages that are in this budget um, and the percentages that for the FICA, Social, well, Social Security, and Medicare, uh, the retirement. Actually, we did receive. The rates from New Hampshire retirement <coughs> they do change on July 1st of 15, and those are taken into consideration in these numbers. So they are fixed. So numbers. these percentages of uh, 6.2 for Social Security and and 1.45 for mm -hmm. Medicare and 10.77 for New Hampshire Retirement Group One for half the year. For half a year. Yep. For half a year. Yep. And then the rates went up to I have those in my pile here. It went up to 11 point... We're talking about Group 1 now, right? Yeah. It's going from 1.77. Yeah, right. so it went from 10.77%. 10 okay. yeah. I'm just trying to find them. I thought I had them right here. Oh, to... Um, I think it was... A, I thought I had them with me. 11.17. Yeah, it is 11.17. And for... Uh, uh, police uh, in Group 2, they're going from... They're currently at 26.38. They're going... No, they're currently at 25.37. Yeah. And they're going yeah. to 26.38. Sorry, I was giving the new Where, number. July? July 1st. The rates change. And what are they now? They're 25.3 right now. Thank you. And they're going to 26.38. And fire is currently... 27, 20, yeah. 27.74. Right. And it's going to 29.16. Okay, so we, we have those hard figures then. Yes, they these, are. And these they're wages are, are, this stuff in here, the personal administration reflects that. Well, there, you gave group one and group two, but you gave us three sets of numbers. Is there police a group and three? fire are separate, sorry. No, there isn't a group three. I wasn't there. Police and fire are separate. So they're under group two, but they're treated differently. They have different rates, yes. Okay. 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 Maybe there ought so to be the a group three. So the police was the first one that I gave you. Okay, got and it. And the fire was the second. Fire second. But they're both okay. group two. Okay. Thank right, you. Well, thank you for that. Christy, based on this section, is it correct? There's nothing here that we can impact and change. This is fixed. <coughs> Contractually. Yes. This is just a matter of clarity and understanding. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So. Well, we should get to ask maybe question B here. You have the question answer. Question B. Why the big, big jump? 54% in the buyback program in 2014 when the previous three years averaged 123,000. Um, the only thing that I can attribute it to is uh, additional sellback options were made available uh, to non-union members, encouraging them to sell back a larger amount of hours um, to reduce the compensated absence balances that we have. Um, in 2012, they were given the option to include education payments in there which um, was processed in 2013 because they make their elections in October of each year and then the payroll is processed mm. in the following year so that the budget, um, so that the amounts can be put into the budget. And then in 2013, they were given an additional option for a 457 loan and they could pay for that through their buyback. So a lot of the, not a lot, but a couple of the into individuals who were maybe selling back 100 hours and paying for their health insurance for the year or something are now selling back closer to their cap, which I believe they can sell back up to 500 hours. So what is the sick leave, the, the, the amount of sick leave that one can accumulate before they have to start selling? That's a loaded question because it's different for, it's different for, Everybody. for contracts. positions, contracts, uh, new people as opposed to people who have been here longer. Um, I think that the lowest sick accumulation overall is 400 hours, and it goes all the way up to like 1,500 mm -hmm. is my guess, for someone who has leave time, which is a combination of sick and vacation. Did that, didn't that include borrowing money to buy a house? I think that was a 457 loan. 457 loan, yeah. Yep. Yep. And, 
Because I remember, I remember, Jerry, that we added one of those while we were there because the, the thinking was that it, rather than letting their yes. sick hours build up and then when they leave, sell a whole bunch back. Yeah, we did talk about that. It would, yeah. it would take the liability down some. And so, yes. and it's been increasing over the last three or four years. Uh -huh. I mean, because of what we've done over the years. And, yeah. I think that increasing is proper. Now, how much is only a, probably a guess. But. It depends. She's right. It, it depends by position. But you're so exactly on. right on the reason behind that, Mike. Yeah. That is exactly yeah. um, the reasoning. That I, mean, it, 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 I mean, I don't like to see increase, but I think that's going to increase whether we like it or not because we've given that, made that available as a town policy, I believe. Yeah, it's policy. in the personnel policy plus in some of the, <laughs> I don't know if the union contracts have those, but the personnel yeah. policy does. Some of the contracts do have. For the 457 loan mm -hmm. option? No, that was a town policy in the fourth fiscal month, but the amount of hours. Oh, yeah, the amount of hours, yes. This, this is an expense item. Does it actually get transferred into a fund of some type, or does it just kind of hang around? There is a compens... I always get the name wrong. I believe it's the Compensated Leave Fund that... Okay, so it's a separate fund. Okay, thank you. Not for this. Is, yes. Oh, not for I that. We set that up several years ago. We did, and that was for anyone, because the auditors look at all of your... Um, Leave, sick, vacation, whatever that you have on the books, and that's oh, a liability oh, to the town. Yes, yeah, that's a liability. So the fund was created maybe 2012. Yeah, I'm not, was, I'm not I sure. think it was created when I was there. Yes. And so I don't remember which year. So this money goes into the exactly. fund. If there's any money left in this line item, line, line item, it goes into the fund. Yes. Thank you. That is how it's. I'm sorry, I so did not understand the question, but that is exactly right. I could have asked it better. Thanks. So we're left with comments here. Okay. And these comments uh, really strike home to me the essence of this issue. Overall, this budget bottom line, this one, has increased 46% over the last five years. Group 1 has increased this time frame 41.7, that's teachers. Police and fire, police up 68% over this time frame. Group 2 fire up 65% over this time frame of the last five years. Comment, police and fire retirements and the overall cost of health care make up 16.6% .6 of the total proposed budget. Comment. This shows itself as an inhibitor for suggested full-time positions, in my opinion, in, full, in police and fire. And, and the, the comment default budget is 41000 lower. Period. And that also contrasts with the municipal health insurance, which actually went down. I mean, at least in our line item, it went down. Mm -hmm. The uh, the retirement's not going down. You get yeah, a I understand. Five billion yeah. dollars. I'm just contrasting. Yeah. Just contrasting. Yeah. For, yeah. for the sake of some sort of order. Christy, do you have anything else to offer in this section? And then I'll that was all right. Questions, and then he just read his comments. So that was all. Jerry, are you done with it? I'm done. Okay, Jim. Nothing you can do. Yeah. I mean, it's it's, it's going to go up every year for the, the next 20 years, mm -hmm. and, and then I think it's projected to go down until that unfunded liability is paid off, and that whole thing was was caused by, at one time, the legislators said to the towns, "You don't have to pay." You don't have to put your portion in, and then the stock market went boom, and you have a bigger liability, mm -hmm. so you're paying it off. Mm -hmm. Sure. And also the state hasn't yeah. contributed to it at all, and then he did in the beginning. Oh, I agree with you 100% on that one. It used to be 35% mm -hmm. a contributor, yeah. and back down to zero. But I do have a question. Disregarding all the political comments, we have nothing to, we have no control over legislator. Uh, anyway, um, the 16.5 there with that 401 retirement per TM contract, I don't quite follow that one. It's on the page 28, mm -hmm. about, I think it's 23.10. What's that, 16.5? I just don't understand what it is. That's the 401 retirement plan for the town manager. That's a contribution, Mike. Yeah, because he's not part it. of the New Hampshire retirement like system. A 401. The position is not, never has been. Even when James Barrington was here, it was. Well, that's because he's already been retired, right? Is he already retired? <laughs> no. Did, didn't he retire from the New Hampshire uh, oh, retirement system? What line system? are you talking about again, please? No, no he's, so he's uh, the second one. The 401 retirement. You're going in circles on a couple of things, Mike. That yeah. is, it, 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 you can choose as the uh, town manager to be included or not. Okay. And it's upon hire. And in the case, most of them, and this they have chosen not to, so he chose not to. That's part of his contract, I suspect, and it's a contribution as a part of his contract. So that goes into a 401. 
Right. So there's four or one line. I'm sorry. Or, I'm all set. or any way he wants it. Not my turn. I'm all set. Thank you. That's right. I just didn't know what it was. I just wanted to make a comment, and that is that at the meeting we went to a couple of months ago, one of the things that concerned me is that the state seems to be trying to push back the towns a lot of expenses. So that's oh, yeah. something I, I plan to look into further, because it's not helping the taxpayers, it's just shifting it from <coughs> state taxes to town taxes. So um, okay. I just want to put that on the record. That was a very worthwhile experience from my perspective of going to that meeting. Um, but I, I am concerned with the state trying to dump everything onto the town. That's all I have. I've said my piece. The only question I have is um, on page 28, on the merit pay, represents a potential merit increase for non-union employees. When I hear my potential, et cetera, I get nervous. I believe that's the, uh, it has been kind of the town manager of Board of Selections policy to put in an amount that is equal to what has been budgeted for non -u or for union members, I mean. So I believe it's one and a quarter percent. And then I don't, this will be my first year non union, so I don't know exactly how it's distributed, but I believe that. Last year, the majority of the non-union did receive the one and a quarter percent. Yeah, they did in March or April, right. and this has been there. And it's for April first. Yeah, just, just like he, all the union contracts. How many people does this number-wise, just a total? How many people does this fifteen thousand cover? Twenty-eight is the last time I heard the number. And I yes. have to go back now. I, I, mean, I can count in my head. But, it, but I have two questions. How many people? First of all, does it cover? You might you can send it to me later on, um, and then also. In that number, how many also have um, raise increases on the drawing board for this coming year? That's a good question. The merit increase mm -hmm. comes at the end of the year if somebody's <coughs> done an exceptional job and mm -hmm. it seems that we're putting them out ahead of time, even um, retroactive. So they have not been retroactive. They have not for at least the last year. I do know that um, they were. They've all been effective April first, yeah. just like the union contracts. Everything's April first now. There in the past there were retroactive for union and non-union, mm -hmm. but I haven't seen that at least last year, and I don't believe the year before either. Yeah, my only comment on that would be, like I say, most most situations the merit increase is needed out at the end of the year when you see if you've held your budget lines, and and how you've produced through the year. Not so. It would be beneficial, I think, if we could see the number of individuals and of that number, how many are in the default budget for increases for 2050. If you could do that, I'd appreciate it. Okay. Okay. Mike. You're all set. Yeah, I'm all set. Thank you. We had a discussion last year about merit member. Yes, we did. It was a rather mm -hmm. entertaining conversation. Yeah, then. we didn't win. Uh, um. We'll make it shorter this time and probably less entertaining. But uh, last year, uh, it's, I believe, a fact. I'll be horrified if it's not because I'm saying it's a fact. But uh, Someone we, will correct you if it's not. But, uh, I got it on video, so I'm confident. Right. Uh, we did do a retroactive pay last year. Uh, oh. Mm -hmm. I yeah. remember, you know, there was some yeah, we, conservation, I think. We, it was, that was uh, part of the entertaining mm -hmm. conversation we had on this committee. It was a conservation department. No, 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 it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't them. They, they, they did theirs quite differently. Um, there, was a, there was a retroactive, there was a pay raise based on a motion which was very vaguely written on the non-public meeting minutes. And the entire amount was, was allocated and that justified the town manager doing a retroactive pay for pretty much almost everybody. And then in March of this year, after the election, the uh, amount on the merit pay was allocated immediately. Right? I have to go back and look. I, I, I saw it first this year, but right. I couldn't right. be So wrong. when it comes to your observation that merit pay is supposed to be based on merit, um, you could argue that last year, even though they didn't, they said they didn't do any merit analysis, uh, that it was like questionable allocation. This year, that was done in March, and how could they have done a, a merit 
evaluation before the year barely began. So, I mean, it's, you know, is this thing a merit thing or, or is it not? I mean, I really don't believe that <coughs> it might have been a merit based on two thir two, 2013. No, they got a retroactive on that one already. Okay. You know, I think the so way... So within a six-month period, they got two raises, one of which was retroactive. And That's how I remember it. Yeah. And, and Christy oh, yeah. is in with the benefit of having those figures in front of her. So I would request that you expand that for I both have them years. As well. So for 2014 and going back to 2013, just as a comparison to see if that was retroactive in 2013. We'll just expand on that, okay, Tim? So, I mean, obviously this is like a... In was retroactive the 1st of January. You know, the, 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 well, this, she can go back and... and yeah, it, it, it just went, we don't have to beat it to death what we remember. Exactly. The numbers always speak for themselves. Yeah, this, this line item is based on how it's performing self-evidently not merit it's something else well we have some people um, that have also come before us with generous raises um, proposed in the 2015 budget so it doesn't come out and of this I'd line I'd just though. like to know if these merit raise this will also uh, they'll also fall into that pot as well good question okay well this particular line is uh, 15595 dollars right mm -hmm. yeah. Is in the default budget of fifteen thousand nine hundred five hundred ninety-five dollars as well. Well, <coughs> and that's because it's just been carrying over one year to the next. Right. Because in the previous year it was a lower number, and the uh, board selectmen actually increased the default number from the actual budget. So uh, a little carryover from previous year's default budget. <coughs> Uh, what's the word? Uh, fluffing up. Just put it, try to, try to put it gently. Uh, and uh, with that, I will shut up. Thank you, thank you. No questions. Thank you. Richard. No questions. All right. We're move over. All those in favor? Uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, can't do much with this one. Okay. That's okay. in favor. And opposed? Brian and was chairman. Oh, 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 sorry. Chairman. I leave. <laughs> also known as I leave. <laughs> AKA I leave. Sorry about the, the, the merit pay situation. The merit pay, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. that's where I'm trying to start off. Off.